Hey guys, uh, Stealthy Cyber Taco here. Today we're going to talk about UpDog. I wanted to show you a little tool um, that I actually learned. Um, I have a good friend and he actually showed me this tool about a year ago and I literally use it every day at work and I use it in my labs all the time. So this is my directory that I created for UpDog but I'm going to fire it up and this is how to access it. So Essentially what this is, is this is a replacement for a simple HTTP server. Um, you can host a lot of different stuff right here and serve the files and, and move them where they need to be. So earlier I was doing a box where I had to log in and upload um, like a, a web shell. So right now I'm going to come over here and do that. So I'm going to come to File Manager, I'll come Upload. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload my reverse shell, my, my web shell. And we can come and access it. So this is my web shell. And right now I'm going to go ahead and start moving files over. So let's come to my updog directory. Um, this is my updog directory where I have a whole bunch of stuff. I have a funny Mike Wazowski and I have a Kiwi uh, image. Um, but let's go ahead and move that Kiwi image over here and just so I can show you how it works. Okay, so we can see a whole bunch of stuff over here. I'm going to do LS. And we can see Kiwi in there. I have uh, Mike Wazowski over here, Wazowski Mike. So I'm going to do Wazowski Mike. Do LS. And Mike Wazowski's over there. Um, I created a file over here that says ha 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 dot text, uh, so we can move that one over too. Ha 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 dot text. All right, and there it is right there. Um, so whenever you're in UpDog, it's a little bit confusing uh, because it'll show two different IP addresses because this is a loopback address. Um, and then this is for local here. Um, but you always want to go with either the IP address that's here or the one that's over here. Right now I'm connected to Try Hack Me's environments. So that's what that IP address is over there. So um, whenever I'm moving the files from my R host, which is my targets, uh, to from my, I'm sorry, from my Kali box to my R host, I'm using this IP address, which is my Kali IP address. Um, but I just want to show you all that you can basically access this anywhere. So this right here is my internal IP address here at home. Um, I'm going to go ahead and access it over here. So this right here is my uh, Windows 10 um, Google Chrome. And even though that I'm running UpDog over here, um, I can still access it uh, you know, between different operating systems. Um, right now I'm going to upload uh, some other files. Here is some memes that I saved on my Windows desktop. I'm going to move over cat.png. Let's move that over. Okay, and now let's come back over here to updog. Let's refresh it. I can do last modified, and here's cat.png. I can download the file right here. I can also view it in the web browser, and that's the file that I pulled over from my um, Windows VM. Windows, I'm sorry, Windows box. Um, let's, go, let's go do it again. Let me go see. Okay, so remember this Chrome right here, this is my window for Windows. Let's come move another file over to my Kali box. Think. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to refresh. Last modified. And here it is right here. Now I have this same file over in my Kali. I can also do the, the Think search. Actually, that's not working with me today, but... Um, yeah, you can just do last modified right now, and um, that's how you get stuff over. I'm going to show you all. I already got this over for you all. Okay, so this is my web show right here. I want to move to a like, like a, a Netcat listener. So I had, uh, I had us listening on 7777, and this is a one-liner that I got from RevShells.com. If you haven't heard about it, uh, it's a great place where you can go plug in your parameters and it'll tell you different stuff to, to try to, uh, to copy and paste. Um, so this is a PHP reverse shell one-liner and uh, I put it over here in UpDog. 
I'm sorry, I put it over here in um, Pony Shell. I'm going to execute that. And now I have this over here in my reverse shell. So I'm just showing this to y'all because I can essentially move these same files over here uh, with, 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 with updog. So let me go to temp, temp working directory. Okay. We can get that Kiwi image again. OS. There it is right there. We had ha 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 dot text, so let's come over here and move this file over to wget http 10.13.20.47, which is my IP address over here. That's my, that's what uh, my Cali box is running. We want 9090. That's where the support that updog is running. And we can do um, Wazowski Mike uh, PNG. Now we have that file over here in my temp directory. Um, I did this box earlier, and essentially um, it gives you credentials. And once I log in with those credentials, I have like a better shell. I have like a SSH. Uh, but I'm going to show y'all that I can move other files over as well. Um, still, you know, that, that, that same updog instance is still running. Let's come over here. I have a Linux exploit. Um, File that I can actually run. Where's it at? Well, suid, let's use the suid3 enum. This is a this is a cool tool that I that I learned about. Suid3 enum. Py. This basically checks for suids. Ls chmon plus x suid3 enum. Py. So now I have that file running over here, but I'm basically just showing uh, y'all that y'all can move uh, stuff here and there. Um, it's a very, very, very great tool. I highly recommend it. Um, so the the directory that I had Updog running in, it was in CD desktop, which is where all of these files are. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this right now. And I'm gonna show y'all another directory that I made Updog to. So I made a directory called Updog to. There's nothing in here at all. I'm going to fire up updog from here. And now there's nothing here because this is a different web directory. I mean, I'm sorry, this is, a, this is a different directory that I created in Kali and there's nothing there at all. Um, so you can literally fire up updog in whatever directory you want. Uh, you can drag and drop. It's just a very, very beautiful tool um, that I have learned about and I use it like literally every day. And I wanted to show you what, what, it, what it's about. Um, if you have any other questions or whatever, y'all can hit me up. Um, and yeah, y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks.